Whether it was pickup games in the recreation center, Richwood High School in Monroe, Western High in Washington, D.C., Grambling State University, Washington of the NBA, or playing in Italy, Larry Wright was a winner wherever he played the game. I always have felt like that my dad was a winner and just his attitude, his approach to work, uh, his work ethic. He always told stories about him uh, plowing the mule in the fields when he was younger growing up in Richwood those days and things like that that I could just see and still work ethic in him. And, you know, I think it spilled over to everything that he did. The unique thing about Coach Wright to me is he took advantage of every opportunity he had. He played the game he loved. He let that take him to college. He, he played the game he loved. He let it take him to the NBA and overseas and played. He also took advantage of the education and got his master's degree plus 30, and he became a principal. And that's, that's the thing that's more unique than anything to me about Coach Wright in the game of basketball. Wright was an All-American in high school, both in Louisiana and Washington, D.C., and followed people who mentored him to Grambling, where he was SWAC Player of the Year. Then came an NBA title teamed with Hall of Famer Elvin Hayes, and the first European title delivered for his team in Italy in 40 years. Oh, he always wanted to win, you know, no matter what sport you play or domino, he always wanted to win. Uh, yes, in the off season, summertime, you know, we used to go to the gym and play basketball. And these times, you know, he had starting guard with him during the season. But in the summertime, his starting guard was me and him. And, you know, uh, we had the gym packed. People just want to come in and just see athletes just go at it. Today, as a successful family man and administrator, he continues to return to others all the help he was given during his career. He always talked to me about working hard, and he always talked about trust the process. And he talked about the things that, that built Grambling and how he played, how my father played, my uncle played at Grambling, and how they won. And that's what he always instilled in me. And he always would tell me, he said, man, continue to do what you believe in, trust the process. And that's what, that's what I tried to do.